Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can create scopes in Databricks or if we already have existing scopes, how we can get the value of secrets from that scope. So this will be our topic of discussion today and I will take you through the, you know, the whole creation of the scope, listing the secrets from the scopes. But before moving on, do remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. So let's move on to the portal and see exactly how we can create scope and how we can list the secrets from the scope. But essentially, even the very first thing, right, that comes to our mind is, okay, what exactly a scope is, you know, what do you mean by scope? So, uh, you know, if you have been watching my previous videos on Databricks, so you will already have a lot of idea on scopes as well, but I will explain you in detail now as well. So when you talk about these scopes, right, these scopes are nothing but, you know, rather than directly putting in your secret value directly in the code so right now for example i write any xyz code over here right and let's say i am giving my storage account key right now instead of directly putting my storage account key uh, you know in the code itself what i can do is i can place that particular key inside a scope and use that particular scope name to get the key the value of key whenever i want so essentially what i will be doing over here is uh, let's say for example let me just show you so let's say uh, you know i have a username right let's say my username is xyz and let's say my password is uh, let's say 123 right now this is my password and that is my username now whenever i'm trying to log in right to anything uh, using azure data breaks now i don't want to put in my password in my notebook so what i'll do is i'll put that particular password in the secret scope which is provided by default by Databricks I will put it in the Databricks uh, scope and then I will call that particular scope in my code which will automatically give the value 1 to 3 rather than explicitly mentioning this particular value so this is essentially what scope is and the scope you know the maximum limit for the number of scopes you can create in a workspace is around uh, you know 100 by default if you want to increase it you can always go ahead and you know contacts the contact the databricks team and you know check if you can increase the limit from 100 but mostly you will not need to increase the limit of number of scopes in a workspace uh, from 100 so what you can do is you can create one scope right so let's say i i create a scope let me tell you so let's say this is the scope right i create a scope let's say the name is scope now inside that scope uh, i can pass as many number of uh, you know secrets that i want so for example for logging to site one let's say i want to log into any site which is named as site one this is my username and password so both of these i can actually store in the scope named with scope itself like the scope 01 itself i can store right now similarly let's say if i have a you know username and password for site 2 okay let's say this is the username this is the password i'm just randomly putting it so even this site 2 username and password as well i can put it in the scope 1 itself so like this i can put multiple you know uh, keys now this is called a key so this password is nothing but we call it as a key so this key is nothing but it can be stored inside the same scope itself and remember that when we talk about these scopes right these databricks scopes right now when databricks stores this particular value in the scope databricks encrypts this particular password databricks databricks will encrypt this particular password and it will be managed completely by databricks now usually what happens is whenever you are trying to use microsoft azure right what will happen is in your organization what will happen is uh, for example you're trying to log into a storage account so the key for that storage account will be stored in azure key vault right now what is this azure key vault so just like i have explained you scope in the databricks you have azure key vault in the databricks as uh, in the azure as well right now what you do is you take in the secret value uh, and then you store it in the azure key vault we will be doing it right now so don't get confused so this particular scope which i am telling you right now is databricks one and and similarly you have something called as azure key vault now in that key vault also you just kind of store your secrets 
right and then you use uh, you know just the name rather than the actual value of the secret so it is provided azure key vault is actually provided by microsoft azure and the scope is actually provided by the databricks and you can use both of them together as well so for example let me tell you uh, let me show you let me go to the azure portal now let me do one thing i'll go to the key vaults over here so this is how the key vault will look like you can actually go ahead and search in this search option as well so this key vault is nothing but it is a place where you can store your secrets right now let me uh, you know simply um, let me just open this particular secret it's a uh, key vault itself now the moment i open this particular key vault what i can do i can go to the secrets right now what i can do a, over here is i can say okay uh, generate an import i want to create a secret or i want to import a secret so both the options are available uh, we will create we will generate the secret over here so you can see there are few secrets which are already available so i have been making lot of videos and uh, in each of my videos i have actually shown this as well so let me just click on this generate import so the moment i click on this generate import right it asks you for a name so let me say youtube secret name right so this is my secret name and then it is asking me for the secret value now what is the secret value so if for example i have a storage account right and i want to store the key value right the value of uh, you know the storage account key right or uh, for example site username and password i i kind of uh, uh, you know gave you an example you know little weird one but yeah so username and password so password will become the secret value so let me enter a demo secret value it can be anything so for example let me say secret value for demo so this is my secret value and i can actually see this value as well over here right now the moment i do this you can actually see it says set activation date set expiration date you can you know choose these options so if you want your secret to be uh, used for a particular time range you can do that and after that let me just uh, just copy let me just copy this name and let me just click on create so the moment i create this what will happen is if there is any uh, you know name that i want to uh, any particular password which i want to store i can actually store in this particular secret right so this is nothing but the key vault in azure now whenever i have to use this particular password what i have kept i will actually use this name and i can simply use that particular password rather than directly typing that password now coming on to the databricks side okay let me just paste this name so this is what we have created now when we come to the databricks right now uh, you know what you can do is you can simply copy this url right this complete url till this hash just copy this and open a new tab and just paste this particular url till hash right and then simply write secret forward slash and write create scope in the camel case right and then hit enter so the moment you do that what happens is you are you are uh let me just put it as secrets if i'm not wrong yeah it secrets uh, forward slash uh secret scope so after uh, doing this you will see that you land into a databricks ui page now this is the place where you can create scope in the databricks just like i have shown you how to do it in uh, azure in the similar way right now i am showing you how to do it in the uh, you know uh, databricks right now if you see again it asks me for the scope name so let me just put it as databricks scope name right and then uh, you know it will ask you for a dns name for resource id and now it is asking you for the azure key vault now what what happened over here is i what i have explained you that you can combine both of them together right so let's say you have a storage account key right that storage account key or any kind of key you have placed it in azure key vault over here right now you can use the same name over here the name from this particular key vault itself for that particular key and you can say okay create a scope out of that key which is stored in the azure key vault right so for that it will ask you for the dns name right now what is this dns name so now what you can do is if you can go 
and uh, you go to the properties over here right now the moment you go to this properties you will actually see there is something called as vault uri just copy this particular vault uri and you can simply paste it over here similarly what you can do is there's something called as resource id and resource id is also present over here simply copy this particular resource id and then you can paste your resource id over here right now what happened is you have given the details that okay take the value from this particular azure key vault now click on create so the moment you click on create you know you will see that eventually your secret scope gets created and now you can see it says that secret scope named this let me just copy this name as well has been added right now let me go back to my page over here if i want to list right if i want to see okay what are the uh, secret scopes which are present in my workspace right there can be i told you up to 100 so scopes right so you can create as many as 100 scopes right so let me just uh, you know you can use this particular command command number 4 dbutils.secrets.listscope so the, using this dbutils you can actually you know list the number of scopes right for example now when i'm running it you will actually see the scope that we have created just now also appears so this is the scope that we have created now this scope in turn is going to the azure key vault and checking the keys which are present in the azure key vault so this is how you can list the scopes which are present in the workspace similarly right now this is the scope right and there must be some secrets as well right which are present now what are these secrets these secrets are nothing but the keys the passwords right now to list the secrets what you can do is you can actually run this command 3 which says dbutils.secrets.list that list me all the secrets which are present with a particular scope name so what was the scope name that we created we created this scope name right so let me just copy the scope name now this is the scope that we created from the databricks right using this uh, you know forward slash secrets for uh, you know hash secrets forward slash create scope right we gave the scope name now if i go ahead and if i run this you will see that within databricks scope name right what are the secrets present so now what it will do it will go to the azure key vault right it will go to the azure key vault databricks scope because what i have done i have given you know this particular resource id i have given this particular key vault uri i have given this right now using this what it will do it will go to my azure key vault and it will check what are the secrets present right and let me see what are the secret present my key with api overwatch event hub connection string secret youtube secret name this is the one which we created right now and these were present before i uh, like before ahead now you can see that you have four secrets present here and you will see that all those four secrets are actually present over here those are listed now you can use any of these so let's say i want to use this particular secret name right so i can simply use this particular secret name itself right so whatever password is present in this secret that will be listed now uh, this is you know uh, you know brief um, you know about uh, you know what exactly scope is how you can create scope how you can create uh, you know azure key vault and now what i'm going to tell you right if you see i have command number one so in this particular video i will also show you that in case you have the uh, you know permissions enough permissions on the workspace what you can do is um, you can actually print the value of the secret as well right you can print the value of the secret so when i say value of the secret it means the value of which the value of the key with the the value of the secret the value of the key which you have stored in the key vault so for example for me it is youtube secret name right if i want to print that value so you can actually use command one to print it so for example let me put in the scope name first over here the one which you are using so if you see you can again use dbutils.secrets.get what does it mean it is using databricks utilities i have already made a video on dbutils you can go ahead and check that out 
Now using this dbutils API, I am saying, okay, go to the secrets and get me the value of, uh, you know, this particular secret name from this particular scope. So this is how you actually take in the value. Okay, let me just uh, put it here. <clears throat> so whenever you have to actually use it in the code, right, this is how you kind of actually use it right you kind of get that particular value this is how you use it in the code so now what this will do you don't uh, what this particular command will do in code you do not have to write the secret name you don't have to write the secret name you just given the scope name you just given this secret name right this is a scope name this is a scope created in the databricks and this is the key vault name over here the secret name that you have created right now your value is inside this particular secret name correct so this is how you are actually going to use this particular value now x becomes your password now the moment i ran it that's fine now we understood what exactly it is and how do we use it in the code now the command 2 will actually let me print the value as well so in case you have uh, you know access sufficient permissions in your workspace you can actually go ahead and do this uh, essentially it's you know very good in case you want to you know check in the values because most of the time you will be restricted to see the value from the databricks portal uh, so, uh, from the azure portal by your organization so you might want to check you know the secret value for any xyz work so you can go ahead and check this value as well over here so now you can see it says secret value for demo right this is the value that i have put it in the secret over here right so i hope it is very clear so what we discussed today is what exactly a scope is what exactly is your key vault is how we can put in uh you know the uh, value in azure key vault how we can create scope how we can list the scopes right and how we can list or how we can print the secret from scope so this is pretty much all about scope so thank you so much for being till here and do remember to like share and subscribe to my channel